Another way to get to this safe leg is from a claw. Well, I'm not a great chop guy, so I actually get to my claw from a weak chop. I have a weak chop, I run it forward, he keeps his base. Now as he keeps his base, I'm trying to get the chop that's going to lower my shoulder. I'm going to drop my shoulder underneath his shoulder. Let's turn so he can see. I'm chopping, he's fighting. I lower my shoulder underneath his shoulder and I take a grip over to his neck. The reason I choose to put my fingers on his neck is that way this thumb area that I used for the smear earlier is going to apply pressure on the far side of his neck. I want to be able to apply pressure to both sides of his neck to make this uncomfortable for my opponent and take his mind off of my safe leg. So fingers on the other side of the neck, now I've got this extra sort of slack here. What do I do with this slack? I replace my shoulder with my bicep and I now have Zach's, Zach's own shoulder applying pressure on the other side of his neck. Bicep, pressure forward. Now, this is a crafty little technique I learned in college. I'm going to take a step, big step, all the way to the other side of his body. What this appears to be is it appears to be my attempt to throw this leg in, traditional leg riding. Well, I'm not. Zach can grab this if he wants, or he can not grab it if he wants. Just grab it for, for fun. I'm going to bring, bring Zach back over my thigh, over my own thigh, and try to arch his back, catch myself with my hand. Look for a cheap tilt here. 